All right, in today's video, two ways to hide the horizontal scroll bar. And so what do I mean by the horizontal scroll bar? Well, let's just say I had a line of code that was actually longer than the screen itself. Well, you'll notice that this scroll bar appeared down the bottom when we did that. So I'll remove that one line, and now there's no scroll bar at the bottom. And I'll add some code, and now there's a scroll bar at the bottom. And as I kind of scroll back and forth, uh, the bar moves along with it. The thing is, you don't really need this scroll bar. And for me, I find it takes up a lot of screen real estate and it's a little bit distracting. And I just wanted to learn how to remove it and customize my VS code. And that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video. So what you're gonna wanna do is go to your settings.json file. And like I said, there's two ways to do it. One with editor.scrollbar.horizontal and the other with editor.scrollbar.horizontal scroll bar size. So you can manipulate either one of these in order to get the desired outcome of hiding the scroll bar. And so first I'll do it with uh, .horizontal. And what we want to do is add the value of hidden here. And when we go back, uh, you can see that I have no longer my scroll bar but I'm still able to scroll back and forth. It's all good, like, you know, VS Code is working as it should. I can um, see all my code, but luckily I have no bar here. And I can go back and remove the value of hidden, um, go back to test.py, and you see that my scroll bar has returned. So again, we just type hidden as our value for key editor.scrollbar.horizontal, and now we have hidden the scroll bar. You know, we're still able to scroll horizontally. And that is the first way. Now, the second way to hide the scroll bar, and again, you can see it down the bottom here. I've re-added it. The second way is again by going to your settings.json file. And we're going to mess with this key value pair, editor.scrollbar.horizontal scroll bar size. Now, I had manually added 15. Um, as the value here because that is more or less the default I believe um, but just know that you could make this a hundred and you can come back here and you have a gigantic <laughs> scroll bar um, we can taper that down a little bit do I don't know like 30 and you know that's the size of our scroll bar now so you can adjust the size of the scroll bar and in order to hide it <laughs> you might be able to guess that what we're gonna do is use a size of zero and so when I come back to my Python file, I'm still able to scroll successfully, but I don't see a scroll bar down here. So again, I can reverse this, go back to 30, come back to our file, our scroll bar is here, um, go back to settings.json, adjust it, and you know our scroll bar is gone. So those are our two ways to hide the horizontal scroll bar in VS Code. I would say that the first one, dot .horizontal, is uh, quote unquote safer and probably the better option. Uh, with this one, you're kind of reducing the size, but it's still probably existing there in some small capacity. Um, you know, if you put it to just like 0 0.5 or something, it might even show up just like microscopically. Um, maybe do it to two. Yeah, you can see if you can see it does show up kind of very small, so you can see it. So, what I would say is adjusting the scroll bar size to zero is of course one way that you could do it. Um, I would say the more friendly, more explicit one is just to use hidden. So of the two, I would go with editor.scrollbar.horizontal. Um, the reason that I give you two options though is these will likely change over time. Um, I'm recording this video in 2020 um, and by 2021, it might be a little bit different in VS Code. So hopefully if you're watching this video in the future, one or both of these methods still work and hopefully they've been uh, more normalized in VS Code by that time as well. So there's two options for you, um, either hiding the whole bar itself or reducing the size of it. So this has been two ways to hide the horizontal scroll bar in VS Code. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.